the slaughtering of female contestants on Dancing with the Stars this season continued on Monday. But it wasn't Mary Lou Retton or Alexis Wren, the remaining two women who were in the bottom five the first week, who went home like we had feared. Instead, it was Tinashe, one of the best dancers and top scorers this season. And her partner Brandon Armstrong who got the boot giving us our first shocking elimination of the season, with Bachelor Nation refusing to quit Joe, grocery store Joe, a mobble might outlast a few more better dancers. How did this happen? Besides, you know, Bachelor Nation. Let's break it down. 1. T. Nashe was getting, like, no votes. This seems obvious, but it must be said, based on skill alone and her scores, she's tied with the highest average of the season, 25.6. T. Nashe was a contender for the Mirror Ball trophy. But fan votes are the other half of the dancing equation, and she had to have been at or near the bottom in terms of votes if Joe was able to overcome an 11-point deficit between them. 2. Lack of a voting fan bass. This is related to the first point. With all due respect to Tina Shea, she's not exactly a household name and arguably not on the same level as past R. Who've been on the show, like Brandy and MYA. Most dancing fans probably haven't heard of her, and Tina Shea's core fan base is not the same as the dancing core fan bass. Some of her fans probably have never seen the show before and were watching just for her, but she needed to convert some of the regular dancing viewers. See worst elimination in Dancing with the Stars history? T. Nashe sent home in 10th place. 3. The dancing fan base didn't favor T. Nashe. Speaking of dancing fans, it's no secret that the show's big demographic is older women who are more likely to pick up the phone and vote for a guy they were charmed or entertained by than young women. This is not to suggest blanket sexism or misogyny, and to be fair, The show has had an even split of male and female winners, but the voting demographic does skew toward the males. How many times have we seen underwhelming men skate by and go deep into the season while both underwhelming and superior women were eliminated early? The worst female contestants who made it far were Marie Osmond season 5 and Bristol Palin season 11, both of whom came in with large voting blocks in. Finished in third place, it's not unlike those couple of years on Og American Idol. When every winner was a WGWG white guy with guitar because of all the young women voting. 4. The revolt against ringers dancing purists will argue that no one with any dance experience of any kind should be on the show because the show is for average Joes and average dancers like literally Joe to learn how to dance. Sure. Your types have won. See Jennifer Grey, Nicole Scherzinger, but we've also had quite a Few shocking eliminations of high-caliber dancers who, I what do you know, just so happen to be women. See, Sabrina Bryan twice, Heather Morris. 5. She had a new pro. The popularity and fan base of a pro can go a long way in helping their partner stay on the show. How many times have we seen Derek Huff's fans carry a less famous or mediocre celebrity further than any other pro would have? Brandon, a former Troop member, acquitted himself very well in his debut season, but he was an unknown quantity to a majority of viewers, who are already familiar with veteran pros not just because they've already been on the show but thanks in large part to social media. Which makes it feel like you know these people. See, Dancing with the Stars Week. Four power rankings, Milo and Mary Lou shined, but grocery store Joe, just number six. She didn't have a standout dance yet all of Tinashe's dances were great but she may have been too consistent for her own good. She didn't have that spectacular one. That was the dance of the night that could have won over new fans. Her dances had a very similar quality to all of them, so it was easy to dismiss her like, she's good, she'll be fine, or worse, forget about her when the episode is over. This is a double-edged sword, though, because had she had a signature dance, Fans could have also thought, she was so good, other people will definitely vote for her and not vote themselves. She needed a breakthrough number that only would have separated her from the rest but connected with fans enough for them to vote. 7. We were warned. 
This might happen T. Nache's elimination was foreshadowed last week when she was put in jeopardy. Alongside Nancy McKeon and Val Chemerkovsky. Being in jeopardy, do us not mean you're necessarily in the bottom two. The only time this season we've known the bottom pack was in the first week when they explicitly announced the bottom six and subsequently the bottom five, which were all women. So Dean Ashe may or may not have been second from the bottom last week, but the show often puts couples in jeopardy to scare, encourage fans to vote and sometimes as a wake-up call to the couples themselves to step it up on the other end of the spectrum, producers likely have not put Joe in jeopardy yet because they don't want to encourage Bachelor Nation to vote even more. It was definitely the former in Tinashe's case but clearly that did not light a fire under anyone to vote for her last week now that we're back to one show. A week, votes from the previous week are combined with the current week's scores. Dancing with the stars now, change them until Monday night's show be sure to make your predictions so that the contestants can see how they're faring in our racetrack odds. You can keep changing your predictions until just before the next episode airs every Monday on ABC. You'll compete to win a spot on our leaderboard and eternal bragging rights. See our contest rules and sound off with other fans in our reality TV forum. Read more Gold Derby Entertainment News for Gold Derby's free newsletter with latest predictions.